Hi there, welcome to campingsecrets.co.uk. I'm Mark. Today we're going to be talking about bike racks for the Mercedes Marco Polo. So check out our website for the latest reviews on the bike racks. Today we're going to look at the Atira Strada DL3. Now the Strada comes in three different variants. There's a DL2 for two bikes, DL3 for three bikes, DL4 for four bikes. We've gone for the three, there's three of us in our family. And it's an excellent bike rack, especially for a camper van with a tow bar. Its main competitor is the Fool 927, which has got a similar principle in that it can tilt out of the way to let you open up the tailgate of your camper van. So let's have a look at the interior. So first off, I just thought I'd show you the bike rack itself when you're holding it. It actually weighs 14 and a half kilograms, which is on the heavy side and it takes a bit of effort to lift it up. Of course, once it's on the back of the camper van, on the tow bar, you can leave it there for the duration of your journey, your trip. It's lockable and, as I say, it can be locked on the tow bar. And so you don't have to worry about security. You only have to do this lifting at the start and end of your journey if you want to take the bike rack on, off again. Okay, so now we're down at the business end with the Atira Strada DL3. It's basically made up of three components. You've got your main tow bar, tow ball hitch. So this is the area which attaches onto the tow bar of the car. And then you have this vertical rail which lifts up and then gets secured by these cams on each side. So then the bikes sit on these rails. So on this particular DL3 model, we've got three rails. First one here for the outer bike, middle bike and end bike. And then each of the bikes will be vertically here. And you have these bars of differing lengths. Each one with a ratchet on to secure to the bike and a lock on there as well, which uses the same key as the main tow bar hitch. So we'll now demonstrate how we attach this onto the back of the Marco Polo. So essentially there's a grey button here which you need the key in to uh, demonstrate this. Key in, pull the grey button, and then that can fold in. Once it's folded in, we can lift up the tow bar and place it onto the tow bar hitch. As such. So at this point, you need to make sure that you have the green button showing. tow bar. See just here with green showing we can again pull this grey button push down this attachment here which then locks onto the tow ball. Remove the key and this is locked, fully locked on now and cannot be stolen. So at this point it's a good idea to plug in your electrics. So we have a standard EU 13 pin plug here, which essentially hooks onto the, onto the tow bar electrics. So now, we've got a, so now we've got the bike, it's a simple matter of lifting it onto the bike rack. Now the slightly tricky thing is you've got to fit these poles through the bike to get to the outer ones. So you might need to the bike rack. I'll go for the centre rail in this case. So you get this cable here. We can attach in our ratchet mechanism so we can just tighten this up. Let's see, it's fairly secure now. And we can lock this part here with the key. Lock down, that can't be removed. Then each wheel has individual straps. Again with a ratchet mechanism, so you literally stick it in. And now that is completely secure. Same on the other wheel. Do 
tend to get slightly oily hands occasionally. Yeah, we're plugging it in here. Ignore my shadow. Now the bike is essentially on. So now if we're gonna get into your boot, obviously the bikes are in the way. So the way to solve that, we have a kick plate along here and this little green button here. What you do is you push this green button is really important because if it's up, it means the bike rack cannot move. If you push it down press down the kick plate, the bike rack will slide back, allowing entry to the boot. So if we do that, you can see it slides back. So the bikes are now at 45 degrees, and we've got clearance here, if your fingers are crossed, to open up the bike rack. You can see there's around 10 centimeters of clearance. So because of that 10 centimeters, if you are putting your bike on the rail nearest to the boot, if you've got a large bike like this with big wide handlebars, then you may need to turn the handlebars a little bit to open up the boot, but it does slide out enough. And then closing is obviously the reverse. Click the button, plenty of room. Pushing back up is simple on this sliding mechanism and this is one area where the Atira Strada does score points in my view over the full 927 and that's because of the sliding mechanism. These slide back up so it's a lot easier to push up than the full which you have to lift the whole way of the bike. So you push it up and you have to push it hard enough so that the green button pops up a bit like on the tow ball when the button is clean Popped up, it means the bike rack won't move backwards. So, I hope you enjoyed this video showing the Atira Strada DL3 in action, both loading it on and operating it to slide back to allow the boot of the Marco Polo to open. Um, please be sure to check out campingsecrets.co.uk over the following months. We're going to be adding loads of content about camper vans, tents, general camping and walking and keeping fit and enjoying the great outdoors. So thanks for watching again. Bye.